Nancy Pelosi, you must meet with us and hold yourself accountable. As a nation, we must unite behind science before it is too late. We are not responsibly taking care of the planet. What happens when we get to four degrees of warming and the tropics have to be evacuated? What happens when there's 20 million people from Central America at our borders begging for help? Do we just let them starve to death? We need climate action now. This is an emergency and we need everybody to step in. Let's head inside. It sucks that we have to do this. It sucks that we even have to be here. This is for our loved ones. This is for the people we love. Why are you here in Nancy Pelosi's office instead of Mitch McConnell's office, for example? I got a call from her office saying, you know, it's not fair to characterize what Democrats have done as inaction. There are bills they've introduced, there are plans that they've tried to put forward, but it's Republicans holding them back. If, if I could take that, I worked for the Democrats for years. I worked for them on campaigns, John Kerry, Terry McCall, Bernie Sanders campaign, last one. I worked on the ACES bill in 2009 when Obama came in and he said he was going to make climate crisis one of his top three priorities. Nothing happened. Nothing happens over and over again. The Democrats had full control, both houses, filibuster proof, the presidency. Nothing happened. They've known about it for 30 years. We've gone between Democrats and Republicans for 30 years. Nothing happens. The emissions continue to increase. Nancy Pelosi is now standing in the way of declaring a climate emergency. She's standing in the way of a Green New Deal. The Green New Deal doesn't even go far enough, according to what scientists say. She can't even allow a non-binding symbolic resolution to pass. The Democrats just shut down a climate debate, a debate on an existential crisis. That's what the Democrats have done. So I ask, how much better is it to have one party that denies the science and then another that gives it lip service and denies the consequences of it by not doing anything? It's only when we start disrupting things, it's only when we start hunger striking that people even pay attention to what we have to say. So, I mean, the reason why we're here is really because of the press, in, in a way, and because people refuse to listen to what we have to say. So poor people can't afford to get to where they need to go. They can't afford to buy the products that they need to buy. The problem with all of this is, what is it, what are you worth, what are you worth paying for? How many lives are you? We are on hunger strike in Nancy Pelosi's office, demanding a one-hour on-camera meeting, which she must notify us of 24 hours in advance of such an event. And all of us are absolutely terrified by this climate catastrophe that is going to hit every single human being. I'm grieving for my future. We hear you. We hear you. I'm grieving for dry, lifeless soil. We hear you. I'm grieving for all the kids, all the grandparents who love their grandchildren, all the parents who love their kids and anyone who loves anybody. We hear you. We hear you. <coughs> um, 
Garrett and Travis, we're going to give you your salt. Yeah, you can pull it in that. So, would you prefer to just take a spoonful dry or would you like it in your water? A spoonful of salt dry? You got two options. I'll, I'll have it in some water. <laughs> I'll have it dry. Yeah. You have it dry? All right. That's probably the right choice. Whatever is the most. It dry. <laughs> it's kind of like a get it out of the way as fast as possible or do I want to? Nurse it. Oh, well, the duality of nature is super interesting. You know. Wow, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> yeah, I don't so usually have that much salt in my day. You sure about that? Yeah. Maybe not in one sitting, in one glass of water. All right, mix it all around. Okay. Okay. I'll bring a tablespoon of water. All right, bottoms up. To the ocean. To the ocean. <laughs> one more toast. One more toast. The fat reserves. I want to toast to the staffers here who have been providing us with water. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. We you, we you, climate emergency. We you, we you, climate emergency. We you, we you, climate emergency. First day was great. We um, took the office, uh, we held it the whole day, planning on coming back uh, the next day. We had declarations of hunger strike from all of our hunger strikers. They were very powerful um, and recorded. Um, and then we held a grief circle as well uh, to share uh, how we're all feeling about the climate crisis. And, um, and then uh, we spent the rest of the day just, I think, talking about, uh, about the climate crisis and, you know, about, about life and what has brought us here. And what are you expecting for the next three days that you're going to be here? Uh, we expect that uh, Nancy Pelosi will get back to us. We are certainly waiting on that. When we first took the office, we uh, asked the schedulers uh, about her availability and when she intended on meeting with us. And they said that they were going to check on her availability and get back to us with a time. Uh, we are now we're leaving the office. They have yet to give us a time. We've checked with them numerous times. And so uh, we look forward to that update. We just asked the staff uh, when we get here tomorrow morning.